Hi, this is Chuck with the Geospatial team here at NearMap. Today we're going to show you how to use our digital surface model and True Ortho products inside of ArcGIS Pro. Now we'll go through how to load the DSM and the True Ortho. Simply go to Add Data and browse to where you saved the data. Add the DSM and now we'll add the True Ortho. One other thing that we can add is the tiles layer. So the tile shows the layout of the DSM and the True Ortho that you downloaded. Now we can turn this off. So the first thing we'll want to do is change the transparency on the True Ortho so we can see the DSM underneath it. So we'll make it semi-transparent. Now it brings the DSM to life, it gives it more texture. Now we can change the symbology of the DSM to match whatever you would like it to do. The different colors will represent different elevations of the pixels inside of the DSM. You can also change the stretch type. We'll change this one to histogram equalize. Now we'll run some tools on this. The first tool that we can run is a viewshed analysis. You can input your own polygons or points or lines into this. In this situation, we'll create our own. So the input raster will be the DSM. The input point or polyline is from the observer. So we'll select points and we'll just create a temporary point now. This point is based on where the observer is looking. There are other options available as well. Just hit the checkbox when you're done. Then we can leave all the rest to the defaults. And click Run. The output will automatically show in the scene. You can turn off the other layers to get a better understanding of what the output looks like. So now you can see the view shed in the top of that building. The next tool we can run is a solar radiation tool. This will show the amount of sunlight that each point on the DSM gets. So we'll select the DSM as the input, and now we can change a lot of parameters. For this instance, we'll just do within a single day. Now we can run it, and you'll see the red values are where we get the most sun. Blue spots, not so much sun. We can zoom in to see the level of detail that comes out of this tool. We can also change the transparency so we can get a better understanding of what's underneath those colors. So that's it. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please reach out to us at support at nearmap.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.